Okay, everybody, welcome back. I have an order I'm going to share with you today. This is from Wilma's. And if you've seen my thumbprint cookie sampler from the Scent Blending Sisters, you may not want to watch this video because it's pretty much a bunch of thumbprint cookies. There's a couple other ones, but the majority of this order is the thumbprint cookie scent because I really enjoyed um, what I got in that sampler from that. And uh, she's one of the uh, vendors in that group of ladies. So she does send an invoice showing you, making sure you can check off everything you got, that kind of stuff. I really do like an invoice because the way a lot of us order, we order so much that it's easy to forget what you've ordered. <laughs> so I'm going to get right into it and show you the sample she sent me. And these are one ounce scent shots. And this is in Sinistrudel. Hopefully you can see that. My lighting's off today. And this one's a really super strong <clears throat> cinnamon scent with a lot of bakery in the background. Butterscotch bread pudding is the next one. This one I get a lot of bread. I really don't get like the butterscotch right now, but I'm getting a lot of the bread. So that might come out when it's warmed. The last one is pink chiffon. And it does smell like the perfume pink chiffon. All right. That is pink chiffon perfume. Yeah, I think so. All right. On to what I did order. And I ordered all scallops. And this is actually my first order from her. She used to be Orchid Lake. And I had a couple wax tarts from like round robins and stuff and I really did enjoy it so this is what I got pear jam thumbprint and I got two of these so I will just move this one out of the way because you don't need to see it twice <clears throat> I really like this it's a nice kind of crisp pear with that little bit of bakery mingling in the background so that's why I got two because I really like that in the sampler this one is the Lemon Marmalade Thumbprint. This one's a really sharp, sharp lemon scent. <clears throat> Tiny bit of bakery in the background. That lemon's really strong, so I'm just getting a lot of the lemon right now. This one is the Banana Jam Thumbprint. Now this one you do get the banana and you do get the cookie scent. It is a kind of um, a little bit more on the runny side. Runty. It sounded like I said runny. But I don't mind runty banana. I kind of like it. So it works for me. I know there are people who don't like it though. Mandarin Marmalade Thumbprint is the next one. And this one's just kind of... It's definitely more of like a jammy orange. It's more sweet than just a regular orange. And you do get a little bit of that cookie in the background. This one is Wildberry Preserve Thumbprint. And it sound, smells like wildberry. Like that wildberry mousse. And, um, well, it says it's preserved. I don't know, it just reminds me of the Wildberry Moose, maybe because that's what I'm used to smelling it with. And you do get a tiny bit of the cookie in the background. This one is Strawberry Jam Thumbprint. And this one I pretty much just get a lot of strawberry right now. It's a really super sweet strawberry, kind of a little bit on the artificial side. I'm not getting a whole lot of cookie just because that strawberry is so strong. Raspberry Jam Thumbprint is the next one. And this one, I find it odd because sometimes raspberry is like a really, really strong overpowering scent. But on this one, the Raspberry Jam Thumbprint, I get more of the thumbprint scent than I do the raspberry, which is weird, but it still smells good. And then I got two of these as well. Lime Jelly Thumbprint. I think a different vendor had made this in the sampler. I think it might have been K's. I could be wrong. Could have been distinctly pink. I can't remember. Hers was a sharper lime. This lime kind of um, blends right into that thumbprint. It's not as sharp as that other one, which I really like that sharpness of the lime. 
but I'll give that one a try. This is Blackberry Jam Thumbprint. These all could be different when they're warmed, I don't know. They'll be, haven't warmed any yet. This one, I just get a little bit of blackberry and a tiny bit of like a bakery in the background. No, this obviously, I did get, like I said, I did get a couple that weren't. This is Goofy Grape. I had this from Around Robin and I loved it. It was just a really intense grape scent. And that's what this is. It is so strong. I just love it. It's just really grapey. Can't get any better than that. I got um one in blue ribbon cookies. Yeah, it's it smells like the blue ribbon cookie scent. It's a little light in this form. I'm not sure, you know, but different vendors have different wax, so that could be why. And I do believe I got two of this one. I don't want to show it to you. Yeah, I did. I got two in the apple jelly thumbprint. I think that's all the doubles now. Could be wrong. I really do like this one. It's a nice crisp apple with maybe a touch of cinnamon in there. And you definitely smell the cookie hanging out in the back. Really delicious. Raspberry macaroon. You definitely get the coconut and you get the raspberry. <clears throat> it's really good. I do like this one. I think I had this in a round robin as well. And when I melted it, I fell in love with it. Cranberry Jam Thumbprint is the next one. I like this one. I think this one might be my favorite from Wilma making them. It's just, it reminds me of Christmas time. It's a cinnamony cranberry scent. I really can't tell you that I get the cookie because that cranberry and cinnamon is just so strong. It may come out when it's melted though. Alright, Cookie Monster is the next one I got. This is nice. <clears throat> you get like a bunch of different cookies. Like I almost smell a sugar cookie. I'm going to actually take this one out and see if I can smell it better. I almost get a sugar cookie, but then it almost smells like a cinnamon, uh, what are those, snickerdoodle cookies? Get a little bit of like a cinnamony scent in the background hanging out in there. Alright, two more, you guys. Next one is in butterscotch. That's a nice butterscotch. It's a little light, but it's, this is also cold. Like, obviously, once I melt it, it could be really strong. Last one. Glazed Jelly Thumbprint. This is just a light scent. I pretty much, and this I got in, um, I forget who made it in the sampler, but it was a little bit on the light scent as well. Like the glazed jelly, I'm really not getting anything. It's just straight up like thumbprint cookie scent. Which is okay by me, but I don't really get the glazed jelly in that or the other one I smelled. But... That was my very first Wilma order, and as you can see, I got a lot of the thumbprint cookies because I just like that scent right now. But um, if you have any questions, please comment, and I will link the order website below and her, I believe she has a group page as well. But if you have any questions, please comment, and I will talk with you guys later. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.